Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good How are you today, Daisy? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Fine. Thank you. That's nice. Did you practice the alphabet? Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, let's try some of you. Uh, how are you today, Victor? Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Victor, can you spell your last name? Uh, <laughs> your last name is um, Martinez. Oh, I got two Victors here in class. <laughs> okay, I got Victor Bonilla and Victor Martinez. Oh, um, let's, Mr. Bonilla, how do you spell your last name? Good evening. My last name. Is O M I L L I. Mm, the last vowel. Can you repeat it? B. Yeah. O M I L L I. <laughs> A, 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 ah, a, exactly. A. A. <laughs> Perfect. Can you repeat it again? Okay. B O M I L L A. Perfect. There you go, Mister. Can you ask a question to another classmate? Puede preguntarle a otro compañero cómo deletrea su nombre, su apellido. Damari Diaz. Hello. Uh -huh. You can say Damaris. How are you today? How do you spell your name, Damaris, etc. Hi, how are, how are you? Good, thanks. And you? I am fine, thank you. Can you spell the last name? Your last name? Your last name? Okay, is that D I A Z? Excellent. Very good, Damaris. Can you um, continue with another classmate? Continue, Damaris. Okay, and my question is uh, Esmeralda Cortez? Hi. Good night. Hi, Esmeralda. Good night. Hi, hi. Good, night. good evening. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> good evening, Esmeralda. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, how do you spell your name? C O R T E C. Uh, oh. Sorry. Sorry. My uh, name or my last yes. name? Hello. My name. Sure. Yes, your name. E S M E R A L D A. Wow, you did your homework. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Esmeralda, continue with another classmate, please. Um Monica. Hello. How are you, Monica? Hi, and you? I'm fine. And how do you spell your name, Monica? Uh, my name is M O M I C A. Excellent, wow. Monica. Well done. Can you continue with another classmate, Monica? Um. Hello, Miguel. Hello. Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Hello. How do you spell your last name? Um, my last name is Lara. L. 
A R A. Excellent. Thank you. Well done, Miguel. Okay, I see you've been practicing. Veo que de verdad han estado practicando. Los felicito y también los felicito por estar conectados a tiempo. La gran mayoría está aquí. Um, no han perdido ninguna, ¿verdad? Okay, that is perfect. Nice. Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, let's continue with the class. We're going to study another important thing. Uh, we are going to start a little bit about titles. Titles in English are very important. Um, and there are, well, I think there is one extra title. Uh, hay uno extra, es casi igual que en español. Solo que hay uno extra. En español nosotros decimos señor, señora y señorita. Son tres, básicamente, ¿verdad? Señor, señora, señorita. Son tres. Pero en inglés son cuatro. Son estos que están acá. Vamos a escuchar. Pongan atención a la pronunciación y luego vamos a explicar acerca de ellos. Okay. Page four, exercise six. Word power. Titles. Part A. Listen and practice. Miss Ito, single females. Mrs. Morgan, married females. Ms. Chen, single or married females. Mr. Garcia, single or married males. Okay, there we are. Uh, ¿Cómo funciona? Aquí le decimos Miss, más el apellido, es para mujeres. Solteras. Single significa solteras. Entonces, um, si sabemos que es una eh, persona eh, femenino y eh, está soltera, le decimos Miss y el apellido. Uh, Miss Díaz, Miss um, López, etcétera, ¿verdad? Ahora, si la persona es siempre femenino, pero está casada, si la se es señora casada, entonces se dice Mrs. Ok, Mrs. Y se escribe así. Ok. Ahora, a veces cuando no sabemos si ella, siempre para ella, si ella está soltera o casada, no lo sabemos, entonces utilizamos este. Miss. Es más corto que este. Este cuando es soltera decimos Miss. Y se escribe así, Miss y, y, y el, el apellido. Ahora, ese es Miss, es más corto, es Miss. Uh -huh. Ahora, para caballero es más fácil porque sea soltero o casado, será Mister. Mister y el apellido. Mister Lara, uh, Mister Bonilla, uh, Mister Cortés, Mister y Mendoza, y ahí vamos. Okay. Esto es cuando usted, eh, bueno, se utilizan incluso acá, lo vamos a ver en algunos um, saludos. Si usted quiere decir, um, vamos a escuchar estos saludos y ahí ustedes van a ver que en algunos de ellos están empleando los titles. Como por ejemplo aquí, Good Morning, Mr. García. Está diciendo buenos días, señor García. Yes. Vamos a escucharlos. Page 4, Exercise 7. Saying Hello. Part A. Listen and Practice. 1. Hi, Matthew. How's it going? Great, thanks. How about you, Lisa? 2. Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. 3. Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? 4. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. All right. Ahí se pueden dar cuenta cómo se uh, utilizan. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Yeah, yes. 
Um, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta con esto. No questions. No. No. Okay. So um, we can continue. Well, today we are going to continue with the topic of the verb be. Ayer empezamos a ver el verbo be. Uh, veo que algunos todavía tienen uh, cierta dificultad para ingresar a la plataforma. Vamos a verlo acá y luego vamos a ir por partes y vamos a hacer unos cuantos ejercicios. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart, you can see the pronoun I that will be equals to M for the pronouns you, we, and they, you're going to use R. And for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use is. So um, if we look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying, I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right, right hand side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here. Um, on this document, let me just change the size. One second. All right, uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is a subject, and as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. Okay, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. And we're going to say uh, Mario. That's his name. Um, he. I'm going to say he is um, a mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. 
Uh, then there's one last question there, how are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes and no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here, because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. Okay, so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun, and that's how you form questions. Um, so look at the example. Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change. Uh, now, instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun, okay? And then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Yeah, obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, am I an English teacher? All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning. And I'm going to say, is he Mario? Okay. Is he uh, mechanic is is he at work are they my co-workers now what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. Okay, and there the video finishes. Um, what did you get from the video? What did you understand? Yes. That is related to yesterday's topic. Yesterday we learned how to make uh, affirmative statements and negative statements with the verb be. But in this video, we also chose how to make yes, no questions with the verb be. Do you have, well, uh, right now, as I told you yesterday, we are going to practice uh, affirmative statements and negative. So ahora vamos a practicar lo que vimos ayer que fueron oraciones afirmativas y oraciones negativas con el verbo to be y también vamos a hacer preguntas, lo que ahí se menciona como yes, no questions. En inglés hay dos tipos de preguntas. Eh, estas que se llaman yes, no questions es porque la respuesta puede ser corta, dice sí o no. Y hay otro tipo de preguntas que se llaman information questions, que en esas no podemos decir sí o no, sino que tenemos que dar información. 
pero por ahorita vamos a ver uh, affirmative statements, negative statements, and yes, no questions, okay? Let's begin. Um, yesterday we said that the verb to be means cero estar, ¿verdad? Eso decíamos ayer, significa cero estar y se conjuga en am, is, are. Am, is, are es el verbo to be, cero estar. Solo dependerá del sujeto. Si el sujeto es I, o sea yo, voy a usar am. Si me refiero a la tercera persona singular que es él, ella o ello para cosas o animales, vamos a usar is. Cuando sea we, you o they, vamos a utilizar are. Ok. Uh, decíamos, affirmative. Um, we said I am. I es primera persona, yo. You es la segunda persona, tú. Tercera persona, él, ella y ello para personas. Y los plurales, ¿verdad? Nosotros, ustedes, ellos. Y como ya habíamos mencionado anteriormente, decíamos I am. Solo con la primera persona utilizamos am. Con you utilizamos are. He, she, it utilizamos is. We, you y they utilizaremos are. Y la forma corta o contractada que también discutíamos ayer. I am, en short, am. You are, your. He is, his. She is, she's. It is, it's. We are, we're. You are, your. It, they are, they. Ok, so, um, ¿cómo se forman las oraciones? Así como se les explicaba en el video, vamos a colocar primero el sujeto, luego una forma del verbo to be, que va a depender del sujeto, am, is, or are, y luego un complemento. Aquí tenemos tres ejemplos. My father, that's a subject, is, verb be, Complement, a serious man. Subject, I. Verb to be, am. Complement, a student. Subject here, my classmates. Verb be, are. And complement, brilliant. Now, It's time to practice here in this reading exercise. We are going to complete with the verb be. We are going to complete using am, um, is, or are in this exercise. Okay, so we have a reading about these two friends. They are Peter and Carl. Okay, I'm going to start reading. I'm going to do the first one and then another person will continue. Okay, it goes like, hello, my name is Carl. Uh -huh. Hello, my name hello. is, my name is, is Carl. 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 Can you Carl. continue, uh, Victor Bonilla? My name is Victor I, Bonilla. I Aquí vamos en la reading. I. I. I am. Um, I am from Australia. Excellent. I am from Australia. ¿Quién continúa, Víctor? Escoja un compañero de la lista. <laughs> William. Ok, William. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, am, I am from Australia. Y aquí? Uh, I, I am. I am. Um, Excellent. I am 13. 13. They are old. Um, um, student. I am a student. And I am, uh -huh. 
And I am a student. No. A student. A student at at second, secondary. secondary school. school. My at father. A secondary school. Okay. Can you continue, uh, uh, William? Uh, Escoja alguien para que continue. Cindy Álvarez. Okay, Cindy. My father is a teacher and my mother is a nurse. Excellent. ¿Quién continúa, Cindy? Cristeli uh, Flores. Ok, Cristeli. Vamos aquí, Cristeli. My father. My father is uh, 45. 45 years old. And my mother is 42. 42. Ok, excelente, Cristeli. ¿Quién continúa? Um, Mateo. We live we in live. the city We live. Live. Yes. live in the city center. Our house, Our house is a small flat bed. It is new and modern. Excellent. It is new and modern. Okay, can continue. Cristeli. Okay, Cristeli. My grandparents. My grandparents we live uh, pardon, live with the US with us. with us. Yes. They are retired. Ese es el, no sé cómo se dice. Retired. Retired. They are retired. Excellent, Cristeli. Who's next? ¿Quién continúa, Cristeli? Ahorita. Um, Damaris. Ok, Damaris. This boy is Peter. Excellent, Damaris. This boy is Peter. ¿Quién continúa, Damaris? Claudia Hueso. Ok, Claudia. He. Claudia, ¿no se escucha? Giselle. He is my best friend. Ok, he is my best friend. ¿Quién continúa, Giselle? Ok, dijimos, he is my best friend. Ahora, Miguel Lara. He is a student at high school. He is a student at high school. Excellent. Beatriz Contreras. He. Ok, no se escucha Beatriz, quizás. Uh, ¿Roger? ¿Roger Mendoza? He. Ok, he is uh, 15 years old. Ok, excellent. He is 15 years old. Oscar Guzmán. His parents. Parents are lawyers. Excellent. His parents are lawyers. Mónica, their office, their office are on Courier Street. Ok, aquí está singular, dice su oficina. Entonces el sujeto es la oficina. Their office is, is. excelente Mónica, ajá. Uh -huh. Their office is on Courier Street. Very good, Monica. 
Um, Edgar Vladimir. They live. They live in the city center. They live in a uh, living center. Uh huh. Their house. Their house is very big, big, and and it house got a big garden. garden. Excellent, excellent, very good. Rosa Ceron, we. We are always. Total after school. Excellent. We are always together after school. Okay, you did it very good. Good job. Um, esto se los voy a enviar siempre a su WhatsApp group porque no está ahí. Okay, para hacer lo negativo decíamos, ayer decíamos que para hacer oraciones negativas solamente vamos a agregar la palabra not. Después del verbo be, después de am, um, después de is, después de are, vamos a agregar not. Y acá tenemos full form y short form. Solo tenemos una, aunque okay. bueno, ayer vimos que son dos formas de hacer la short form y negative. I am not, I'm not. You are not, you aren't. He is not, he isn't. She is not. She isn't. It is not. It isn't. We are not. We aren't. You are not. You aren't. And they are not. They aren't. For example, here we have the structure. Así iría la estructura en negativo. Subject. Luego el verbo to be sea am, is, are. Luego not. Y luego el complemento. Tenemos dos ejemplos acá. He is not a pilot. Sujeto es he. Verbo be, is. Luego la palabra not. Y luego el complemento, a pilot. They are not angry. They is the subject. Verb to be, are. Then the word not. And then the complement, angry. They are not angry. Now. It is time to practice with these sentences. Put the sentences in the correct order. Para esto vamos a utilizar el cuaderno y el lápiz o lapicero. Vamos a poner estas oraciones en el orden correcto. Tenemos un set de palabras ahí. Father, not, my, a, is, doctor. Tenemos que escribir en el cuaderno la oración en el orden correcto. Les voy a dar, ¿qué será? ¿Tres minutos?
Are you ready? Finished? Finished. Yes. Okay, yes. Victor Martinez. Victor Martinez, do you have a question? No? No, no. No. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's listen to your answers. Mm. Let's see the first one. Fernando? Yes, coach. Can you say the, the first one? Yes, my father is not a doctor. Excellent, Fernando, excellent. Fatima? She is not the office. She is not? The office? In the office. In the office. Excellent. She's not in the office. Esmeralda Cortez. Let's continue. Okay. Um, Claudia Hueso. Okay. Ernesto. Ernesto Calles. The Beast. The bees, vamos a ver. The lazy are no bees. The bees es el sujeto, las abejas. The bees. The bees are not lazy. Lazy. Ok, very good. Lazy. Veamos, palabra nueva, lazy. Yes. Olga Sán, que no. Olga perezoso. San, perezoso, perezoso. Ajá. estamos diciendo que las abejas no son perezosas. Lazy. Ok, thank you so much. Let's continue. Uh, Rosa Cerón. Mm. I am not in the hospital. Excellent. I am not in the hospital. Excellent. Claudia Guerra. Mm -hmm. They are not pilots. Pilots, excellent. They are not pilots. Excellent. Giselle. My brother is not a mechanic. Okay, excellent. My brother is not a mechanic. Very good. Um, let's continue with the last one. Damaris, do you have the last one? The children? The children are not hungry. Okay, excellent. The children are not hungry. Good. You did a very nice job. Ahí tienen las respuestas por si um, se nos quedaron por ahí. My father is not a doctor. Let's repeat. Can you repeat after me, please? My father is not a doctor. <laughs> My, my father is not a doctor. She is not in the office. She is not, not in the office. office. The bees are not lazy. The bees are not lazy. Not lazy. Not lazy. I am not in the hospital. I am not in the hospital. They are not pilots. They are not pilots. My brother is not a mechanic. 
My brother is not a mechanic. 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 Good. The children are not hungry. Okay, great. Now, uh, hungry is hambrientos. La palabra hungry. Hungry is hambrientos. Hungry. Okay. Hungry. Yes, excellent. Esto es importante. Eh, cuando aprendan un vocabulario nuevo, una palabra nueva, pueden hacer una listita. En, ahí en su cuaderno, decir, ok, tengo dos palabras nuevas, ahora tengo lazy. Usted escribe así como está ahí y luego puede escribir a la par cómo se pronuncia, así como se escucha, lazy. Y mañana se las aprende. Aprendí cuatro palabras nuevas en la clase del día anterior, las memorizo al siguiente día, las practico. Lazy, hungry. A veces eh, no nos queda tiempo, pero lo que puede hacer es anotarlas en un papelito chiquito. Y si usted trabaja en una computadora, péguelas ahí a la parte de la computadora y de repente las puede repasar. O se las puede anotar en la mano y de repente uh, revisar, aunque hoy no, porque hay que lavarlas seguido. <risa> teacher dijo, una consulta, teacher. ¿Sí? Eh, Lacey dijo que era eh, precioso, ¿verdad? Perezoso, Aragán, Holgazán. Uh -huh. <laughs> Any other question? Teacher, um, al, hola. Sí, sí, le escucho. Eh, en, de las, en la última tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. La correcta era: The children are not hungry. Eh, no se puede usar de they are not children hungry. Mm, como primero va el sujeto, en una oración primero va el sujeto y aquí el sujeto son los niños. Entonces sí, no, no hay forma de moverlo porque estaríamos alterando la estructura de la oración, ¿verdad? Que es primero el sujeto, luego el verbo. Y luego el complemento. Thank you. Ok. Ok. Yes, no questions. Eh, la yes, no questions hacía un ejercicio en el video para ilustrar cómo es que eh, se formulan. Es similar a una oración. Nada más que cambia. En la presentación que les mandé ayer está dinámico cómo cambia. Eh, por ejemplo, si yo hago una oración y yo digo ustedes uh, o le digo usted está feliz, sería you. You are happy. You yeah. are happy. Esta es una oración. Estoy afirmando. Yo le digo usted está feliz. Lo veo sonreír o algo. Entonces es una oración afirmativa, ¿verdad? Yo le digo, tú estás feliz. Pero ahora, um, no lo sé. Y quiero preguntarle, ¿estás tú feliz? Entonces solo tengo que hacer ese movimiento. Primero el verbo to be, que es are, ¿verdad? Y luego el sujeto. Are you? Are you? No, happy. Happy. Ok, entonces so, tengo que hacer ese cambio. En una oración afirmativa yo digo, you are happy. Pero si es pregunto, uh, cambio. Are you? Are you happy? Uh -huh. Ok. Um, puedo decir, my sister. Ese sería el sujeto, ¿verdad? Mi hermana. My sister is... Busy. ¿Qué significa busy? Ocupado. Ocupado. Ocupado, 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 ocupada, atareada. Entonces, esta es una oración. Digo, my sister is busy. Ella está ocupada. Ahora quiero convertir esto en una pregunta. ¿Está ocupada mi hermana? Is my sister. Is my sister. Excelente. Is my sister. 
Solo invierto ese orden. Is my sister busy? Ok, is my sister busy? Y como se les explicaba en el video en la plataforma, estas son preguntas que se pueden responder con yes o no. Pero siempre vamos a utilizar el mismo verbo to be en la respuesta. En el caso que sea afirmativa, digo yes, coma, she is. Sí, ella está. Yes, she is. No. La primera va a ser no. She is not. Si fuera negativo, no, no lo está. No, she is not. En la primera se fijan, solo dice no y ya la segunda es not, como la estructura de demanda del verbo to be. No, she is not. Ok. Estas son just no questions. Vamos a practicar. Eh, y esta la continuamos con la presentación. Ok. Eh, in questions, aquí se les explica lo to be, am, is, are. Luego vamos a escribir el sujeto. Luego el complemento. Y por último, el signo de pregunta. ¿Verdad? Al final. Por ejemplo, am I funny? Are we teachers? Are you teachers? Are they teachers? Is. Con la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Is he a doctor? O is she a doctor? O is it a doctor? Ya. Yeah. Now, let's see. Como les decía, en la respuesta siempre vamos a utilizar el verbo to be cuando respondemos. Por ejemplo, um, am I English? Soy yo, um, soy yo inglesa. Usted dice, uh, yes, you are, o no, you aren't. No, tú no lo eres. Ok. Are you English? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Is he English? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Is she English? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Is it English? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Are we English? Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Are you English? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Are they English? Yes, they are. Oh, no, they aren't. Now it's time to practice with the questions. Now, verb to be in questions. What is the correct or the right form of the verb to be to complete the questions? For example, in letter A, it says, my pet aggressive. Um, is or is my pet Excellent. Is my pet aggressive? Es mi mascota agresiva. So, vamos a ir completando con am, is, o are. Si gustan, solo escriban literal a, is. Literal c. Y la respuesta. Para que no lo copien todo. De todos modos, yo se los mando a, a, a su grupo de WhatsApp. Voy a silenciar.
Have you finished? Yes. Okay, so letter yeah. A, we said, is my pet aggressive? Is my pet aggressive? Letter B, Miguel, letter B. Uh, are you sad? Are you sad? Excellent. <laughs> Victor Martinez, letter C. Is he a soccer player? Excellent. Victor Bonilla, letter D. Are she a nurse? ¿Cuál es más con she? Uh, are is uh -huh. is 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 excelente is is, is she, she a nurse? A nurse. Okay, good. Uh, Cristeli, letter E. Are they in Brazil? Excellent, Cristeli. Claudia, Mariona, letter F. Is, is Ronaldo and Messi soccer players? Como son dos, se convierte en plural en ellos. They. Uh -huh. uh, sería entonces, Excelente. Are. Está bien. Are. Sería, sería are Ronaldo. Are Ronaldo and, and Messi. And Messi soccer players. Excelente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así funciona. Okay. Good. Letter G, Oscar Goodman. Letter G. Monday today. Is it Monday today? Very good. Alexis, letter H. E, is the school bus yellow? Excellent. Is the school bus yellow? Very good. Uh, Alma Martinez, letter I. Is Shakira a singer? Excellent. Is Shakira a singer? And finally, letter J, uh, Daisy. Daisy. Are your parents at home? Excellent. Are your parents at home? Excellent job. Okay, this is uh, with just no questions. We finished the practice of just no questions. And then we have some other exercises here. Okay. Aquí hay otros ejercicios en donde ustedes tienen que escribir la pregunta. Esto les puede servir para que lo hagan en casa en algún ratito libre. Por ejemplo, tenemos he, mechanic. ¿Cómo formularíamos una just no question ahí? Is he a mechanic? Is he a mechanic? Is he a mechanic? Uh -huh. Y así pueden ir haciendo las demás. Aquí hay otro ejercicio, match. Y las WH questions o information questions, que eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Por ahorita la plataforma nos deja con las Yes, no question, pero esto se lo voy a explicar mañana en las WH questions también y vamos a seguir practicando. Así es que, bueno, se nos terminó el tiempo. No sentí la hora. <ríe> ya me tengo que conectar al otro grupo. Excelente, lo han hecho muy bien. Mañana seguimos porque esto es práctica y espero verlos a toditos. Mañana los felicito. Um, por ser tan responsables, por seguir conectados, por esforzarse. Yes. Y mañana seguimos con esto. Vamos a practicar más, ¿ok? Les voy a mandar la presentación para que la vayan viendo en avance si ustedes gustan. Y mañana seguimos para terminar el tema y practicar un poco más. Vamos a ver también numbers, ages. Y vamos a seguir practicando el verb to be, ¿ok? So, Thank you. Uh, it was a pleasure to see you today. And... Uh, I hope you sleep well, take care, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good day.